Hey Rick fans, welcome back to the Big Bakery, where all our jokes are half-baked. I'm Jacob and today I'm going to show you folks how to build some awesome Lego furniture. And here's the 10 pieces of furniture that I'll be showing you folks how to make today. There's a couple of sofas, there's actually three sofas, some desks, some bookcases, and of course, some living room tables as well. I'm really looking forward to showing you guys everything. The first one we'll start off with is this wonderful little sofa right here. And these are the pieces you need to build this sofa. I'll show you step by step how to put it together. The first thing you want to do is take these three two by threes right here, make them into a plate like this. Put on this tile, this two by four tile right here, so it covers all three like this. Then put in these small one by one tiles right here. Put in the back part like this, put in the one by one bricks here and over here. And of course you put in these small modified pieces like this here on both ends like this. We're very close to being finished. Here we put one by two tiles and underneath we put one by one round studs just to give it a little lift so it's not standing completely flush on the ground. And there we go, a wonderful little sofa. Next up, there's this wonderful little bookcase here. This one might fit well in a fantasy setting, which is why I added a skull on top and maybe some potions here on the shelves. I'll show you how to build this one. So these are all the pieces you are gonna need for this little build. It's probably the most complex build that I'm gonna show you folks today, but it is not difficult at all. What you need are four of these one by four bricks, four of these one by two bricks, five of these one by two plates, 12 studs, three of these two by sixes, four of these modified one by ones, five brown jumper blades, two brown one by twos, one brown one by four, two one by four brown plates, four of these studs in a different color, three jumper plates, and one tile, one by two in another color, and of course, a skeleton head and some of these bottles here. For building this, you want to take one of these two by six plates. You want to add your one by four plate right here and add two of these one by two plates right here, and then add another one by two here in front. And of course, add a jumper plate as well. And then you build the back of the bookcase by adding two of these. And remember to do this alternate move so you get the strongest bookcase possible. And we are here. Then you want to add three of these studs to each side like this. And one more. And of course, the other side as well. One, two, and three. And before you start putting in these here on top, you want to put in your bottles and such because these are actually just tall enough so they would actually be a bit difficult to get in there if you were to put them in after these. And then you put on your modified one by ones like this. And of course, then you add another plate on top like this, and we are here. The next step is much like the first one. You add your one by four plate right here. You add your one by two plate here and here. And then we add two jumper plates because we want to put the bottles up there in a different order. So it looks a little more messy. Then again, we put in these back pieces right here again remember to alternate so you'll get the strongest bookcase possible and again you want to add in these one two and 
three. And the same on the other side, one, two, and three. And we are here. And then again, we want to add in these small bottles and small trays like this before we put on these modified one by ones, these beautiful modified one by ones. And we are here. And then add your last two by six plate and then we are almost done we want to add something here on top so we can pile our stuff up there you add your one by two jumper plates like this and your one by four tile like this your last two one by two tiles like this and of course you add your small skull up here and the pile of books are just these four jumper plates sorry three jumper plates and one tile so you'll do one two three and remember to put them a little offset so it looks like a random pile of books like this and you put that on top right here and it looks like it is precariously balancing there on the top which is pretty nice and on the bottom we add these small feet so it don't stand right on the floor like this and there you go you have your little bookcase ready to go for your fantasy hovel next up is this little sofa here which is kind of interesting because right now it's actually upside down this is the right way because this has a flat surface that the minifigure can actually sit on like this. So these are the pieces you'll be using for this sofa right here. These are modified sloped tiles which are kind of neat and this is also a modified and sloped tile. What you want to do is you'll take your two modified sloped tile and put one of these 1x4 plates here on the back like this you've already got the back of the sofa put these plates on these two by three plates on here on the back like this make sure this little piece is sticking out here below you want to add these two like this and then we are almost there add the one by four brick like this add the one by two plate like this and add the modified tile like this at the end and you've got a wonderful little modern sofa for all these sofas we of course need a wonderful little coffee table and these are the pieces you need for this build this is probably the most exotic one a snot plate with studs on top and the angle turned this way but other than that everything is pretty normal remember this one should be a jumper plate and what you want to do is take your 4x4 plate add these two tiles where the first one is a jumper and this one right here and you've got this cross pattern you want to add the two other colors like this and we are very close to being done at the little plant piece which is just a round transparent brick and a plant piece on top and of course add these small table legs like this underneath so we have some nice table legs like this and you are good to go and this table is a little funky because it uses these wheel casings here on the side and i think this looks kind of cool maybe like a modern desk for an architect's office or something like that and these are the pieces you need for this build here nothing much out of the ordinary these pieces might not be something that everybody has but i think they are in a lot of vehicle sets at this point so you might have a couple lying around what you want to do is start out with these two this could be a two by two plate as well but we'll start with these two like this put on this snot plate right here on the front and add a one by two plate behind it put this jumper here so we've got a small drawer and then we want to put these wheel casings on like this and we've got supports on each side then put in your two by four tile like this 
two by two tile here in the corner and in the other corner your jumper plate and add the small flowers like this and you've got a wonderful modern looking desk. Next up we got this very very stylish and very very simple coffee table. I think I've been inspired by Tayshawn Harris at some point to make this so you should check out his channel. He does some great mocks. And these are the pieces you want for this one. These are modified one by two plates, which are kind of neat, I think. And the others are fairly simple pieces. You just want to take your transparent piece like this, add the modified one by two here on one end and on the other and add your tile here and add your plate right here. And you've got a very, very fancy modern coffee table. And then of course there is another bookcase. This one is a little more modern to look at and there might be a piece in here that you can't necessarily get, but it's not crucial for the build. The piece that might be hard to come by in this is this stereo right here. If you don't have this one, just don't add it. It doesn't really matter for the bookcase in and of itself. To build this modern bookcase, you want to start with this, a two by four plate add a jumper here on one end and add a jumper on the other end. You want to add two tiles here on the bottom part like this and of course then add your transparent bricks like this and over here as well and we are here and then you add your two by four plate like this add this jumper plate right here, add a brown regular plate, plate, one by two plate right here, add your jumper plate here at the end, and of course add a tile here in the middle. This plate is for the pile of books. Start with one color and take another, and you've got something that looks like a pile of books or maybe a pile of cassette tapes. The colors aren't really important. You can use whatever colors you have. Then move on to this. Add your transparent brick and another transparent brick as well. Add your two by four plate like this. Add your one by four tile because we want to make a room for the stereo to go on top. We need a stud for it to get stuck on. Here's the stud. Put in your one by one tile here and put in your two by one tile. And we are almost there. Put the stereo on top, put it on an angle so it looks like it's been placed there a little randomly and add your antenna. And of course, at the bottom, you want to add these small black studs here so you have feet for it to stand on. And there we are, a small modern bookcase for your modern house. And next up, there's this little coffee table right here. These are the pieces you need for this little coffee table. Now, there's nothing out of the ordinary here. Just remember that one of these tiles should have a jumper right there in the middle. What you want to do when you start out this table is start with these and put these two modified plates together. Put a one by two plate here on the back and a tile on the front and you already got one end of your coffee table. Then you take the other two, do the same thing. Put a tile on front and a plate on the back like this right here and you've got your other table leg ready. Now comes the tricky part because you want to put on a tile like this and put these one by twos underneath like this and remember to turn them the right way so they can actually support the tile here. You might be able to use a two by two if you got it in the right color and add the jumper plate like this. Add this here and you've got the table legs and the table and remember when you want to put on this flower please support it underneath because it might break just a tiny bit if you put on too much weight in the middle and there we are a coffee table 
as you may have noticed already, this sofa resembled this one very, very closely, but I have added some armrests in this one, and I want to show you how to do these. So these are the pieces you need for this build. These one by two plates with a clip at the end, and of course, these one by two clips with, I think we call this an anti-clip, but at least something that these clips can go on. And to build this one, you want to start out with these back pieces right here. You put on this anti-clip part and put on the clip part like this and you've got sort of an angle going right here. And you want to do the same with the other one, but do it the other way round. So if you've got an angle that's the opposite way, like this, and we are already fairly far along, so we need to put on this plate here on the back like this, and like this, so you end up having something that looks like this. And now we are ready to move on by putting on this one by four plate right here to just give it some stability there on the back. Add this right here and right here. And you want to add this here and one more plate right here just to give it the right length, which is a bit different from the other one. Add a plate here on the front and add two of these like this you've got that rounded edge here on front and you want to add these studs on the back part of the armrests like this and put on these pieces like this and you've got a comfortable 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 sofa just standing around like this of course you can put out the armrests if you want to maybe make it look like a plane <laughs> Lastly, we've got this little working desk right here with a lamp and a drawer and I've used some droid arms. I'll show you how to build this one. So these are the pieces you need for this build. These droid arms right here are probably the most exotic piece in this build. You need three of those and of course you need a couple of these pins at different lengths and I'll show you why that is when I build it and of course these modified one by two with an anti-hinge right here. To build this one, you want to start off with this piece right here, a modified one by two with this hinge out there and put on your one by four. Add the other one by two underneath like this so you've got this shape right here. Then you want to add your snot plate underneath like this so you've got a couple of studs sticking out that way right there add a jumper plate on the front so now you've got a drawer and add your tile up here so you've got a table surface and then we want to put some legs on this little desk add your droid arms down here like this remember to turn, turn them the same way because they do have different ends put in your long pin like this and you are almost ready to go put in your modified one by two with two clips on it here and you've got a leg for this desk to stand on like this. And now, of course, we just need a small lamp. So the architect or whatever it is has some light. What you want to do is put your pin on the droid arm like this. Put in this modified one by one with a hole like this. And you've already got something that's very close to resembling a light. And here you go. That is the light bulb and you put it on right here on the back and voila, we have a work table, a desk for somebody who needs light for their work. That was 10 ideas for Lego furniture and I hope you can use some of them in your mocks. Please let me know what you think of them in the comments below and I'll be happy to hear all your thoughts. But that's all for me today. I hope you'll comment, like and subscribe and I hope I'll see you guys next Monday.